This was a one I did not expect to um, wake up to this early in the morning on my birthday of March 21st, 2022. And over here with my coffee that I'm having from my Nuka World coffee cup that I got while I was in Nuka World. But this one, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to lie, is rather interesting to say the least. Mm, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, exactly what is this story? Well, it's from our favorite friend, Angry Little Elf. And for those of you who don't know, I did cover his one fanfiction a while back, which talked about Halo in the Justice League world after the successful gender side from the one Justice League animated episode. And I'll be honest with you, it's kind of lacking. Kind of lacking. Especially no lore dump. Anything like that. Yet, here's the thing. He's gone and done more. He's, he's done a few, actually. Ones with Game of Thrones, ones with Mass Effect, and even ones with Skyrim. Yet, yeah, this one, ladies and gentlemen, is one Bethesda project. Or uh, Obsidian, whichever one you want to go with. I am eagerly looking forward to, and in the, the wise words of Walla's wisdom... Don't fuck up, because he could really, this the angry little elf. You could easily fuck up. You could easily fall into your tropes of just trying to do something actually good. So, what could he do with this story? Well, before I begin, what is the story? It follows the same trope of the gender side succeeded. Some of the same dialogue, except a little bit tweaked and improved from the usual stories. Except this time. The person we're following is Courier 6 from Fallout New Vegas. And the best part is, he's not alone. He's got his best buddy, our favorite robot companion. Depending on who you ask. Eddie! Edie! Whichever one you want to go with. And, of course, no hope. Thank Christ. No hope. Shut up, Hope! Moving on. So... If, if I had to tell you now, if I had to say it now, the way that Courier 6 is introduced to the world is, of all things, from the radio. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he is introduced to the radio, and this motherfucker is packing! And I love it. I mean, hell, we actually get to see the medicine stick, Lucky, Maria, and a few other good old-fashioned uh, Mojave iconic classics. And dear God in heaven... Angry little elf. I'm just gonna say this now. Do not fuck up. You've you've done the same goddamn intro for all the other things. What needs to happen to improve this type of storytelling is show different happenings. Cause here's the thing about Courier Six. Courier Six, depending on what playthrough you've done, it's either he's independent, he's patriotic, i.e. supports the NCR and the Republic, or he's a goddamn legionary, which thank Christ we're not seeing here. Hopefully we're not seeing here. No, what I'm hoping to see is a independent Courier 6. Because if we see an NCR Courier 6, we're going to see him be, support, uh, be very supportive of the goddamn government. We don't need that at the moment in this kind of world. What I would love to see, however, from this storyline is actually him seeing the world and doing what any main Fallout protagonist does. Try to help save the world, or at least try and help out that situation in time. I would love for a UN inquiry, actually. I would love for a Courier 6 to actually go on TV or go on the air and actually talk about the world. You could essentially make this into a shoddy cast reaction where Courier 6 talks about the Fallout universe to the Justice League universe. You could damn well do that. And we wouldn't felt you for it because they're technically doing an inquiry. You could build up you could, you could literally build up their reaction to basically, yeah, we have a gender side, but at least we're not a like nuclear holocaust or post-nuclear fucking holocaust. There are so many ways he could take this. And if he takes it where Courier 6 does not end up in Star Labs, instead ends up at, say, a police station or ends up on a news station or anywhere else that is not Star Labs like every other goddamn story he has done so far, then you could very well 
be looking at a very good start to an honestly good story. Hell, make it to where Courier 6, being as independent as he is, does not take well to following orders unless... Compensation. Compensation. Maybe he travels to the to this version of the Mojave and basically walks the roads or still does what he does as a courier. I mean, government... I mean, hell, there's still villains out there. Try and get his ass, and let's face it. That's a cool concept of the courier trying to not only, of course, help mankind, you know, survive by obviously, you know, what they've done in the last couple of things where they donate to sperm banks, what have you, but maybe, you know, goes and uh, lays down his big iron, you know. But uh, I'm just saying, the guy, Courier 6, is probably one of the best Fallout characters, in my opinion, mind you, for that Old West feel, that that wanderer feel, that, that lonesome stranger feel, someone who walks a lonesome road in search of... Not a purpose, but another adventure. And I would love to see that spirit, that, that sort of feeling from this type. And I, I, again, it would fit the character very well, considering that they, Courier 6 would probably not work with the government, not work with the Justice League unless it was in their benefits. But at the same time, I could see them not be total assholes and still try to help mankind. Again, that's how I see this independent Courier 6. For those of you who, not a Legion 6, mind you, because fuck the Legion, I want to hear from you. What kind of Courier 6 is this story going to follow? What, what, what do you think is going to happen between either an independent Courier 6 or a pro NCR Courier 6? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And let me know down below what you think of Courier 6 sharing the Fallout world with this post gender side world. Again, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I'm an Airsoft Al, and I will see all you lovely, lovely people in the next review. Till next time. Later!